Aiden, will you be the bold to my brash? You know what? Spencer? Will you be the belongs in the trash? <laughs> <laughs> Don't will you be the belongs to our trash? Instead of the good, the bad, and the ugly, it's the bold, the brash, and the belongs in the trash. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, cool. Fat gum. It's uh, Undertale's fan base. Oh, nice. I'm using Francois. I forgot I still had this one. See, Undertale, um, Steven Universe, and Sonic fan bases all together. Are they all trash cans? No, yes, they're just really them. freaking fat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's Chris Chan. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, tr Chris Chan is now Chris Tran. Really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, Chris, let me let me bring up an image of Chris Chan. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> 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 who is Chris Chan? Do you know who Chris Chan is? He's a Sonic Chew guy. Yeah, do you know who the Sonic Chew guy is? No. Old Chris Chan. Yeah, here's the old one. So basically, the, there's like a... I watched some like literal two-hour documentary on... <laughs> <laughs> I like how the thing is that is Chris Chan is getting sued again. <laughs> yeah, what? What the frick? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Chris Chan. Very cool. <laughs> what the frick? Chris Chan. Oh my is god. Is he actually... Like, no, trans, it, or is that just a joke? He's kind of in between. We don't know. Oh, look at point. that, Chris Chan. <laughs> oh, wow. This is the most unfortunate <laughs> name ever. It's like it's like some normal, professional-looking Asian guy just named Chris Chan. Uh, Why are we getting into K-pop people now? <laughs> God, all the same. Like, I've not even been on Twitter that long, and I already know how annoying K-pop is. Oh my gosh, look. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna we're putting this in an episode. We are putting this in the episode. That is amazing. Alright. <laughs> the Sword and Shield series is now Dolan editing stuff in. About oh, we're also playing the game. Can we anyway. just like can we just agree that K-pop stan Twitter is the worst part it of It is Twitter. the worst fan base in general. For those of you not aware, a.k.a. Spencer, Chris Chan was a severely autistic guy. When I say severely, I mean he look, he makes Simon look like a freaking like public speaker. Um, like a mega Chad. Dude, oh my god. So Chris Chan, how do I even summarize all the things he's done in a 25-minute episode? He wrote, he drew like what's called the Sonichu comic, which is um, a comic <laughs> where... Uh, he and his friends or something all have medallions that turn them into uh, Sonic characters or maybe crossovers with Pokemon in some occasions. I don't know. Um, hey, let me get close enough to the mic for this one. <laughs> that was a face palm. That was not Spencer that was a, winking it. Um, that was one of the... Um... <laughs> that was a face palm. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> so... Uh, he's famous for his uh, Sonichu thing, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's a yellow Sonic that has Pikachu ears and a tail. And the little circle things on his cheeks. Oh, yeah. It was it was freaking stupid. Um, now, the the real meme about Sonichu, though, is that 4chan somehow found his blog, and um, they started asking him about his life. And every time they'd ask, uh, he'd give plenty of information. <laughs> and occasionally... Or like, the way you said plenty makes me scared. We're getting there, just wait. Let me get to the Chris Chan wiki. Oh, we should just look up a summary of Chris Chan. And then read oh, it. I like how you've gone incognito for oh, this. Oh, I'm, I'm not putting this in my browsing history. <laughs> Sonichu.com, the CW Seeky. Oh, no. Christian Weston Chandler. <laughs> this is how he draws himself. I don't want to... What, scroll up? Why does he have Whoa. two different color eyes? What the frick? I don't know. I don't like Duo Chromatia is a this disease. Is dang it is. <laughs> in 2008, Megan writes an email that she is thinking about staying at the Chandler household for a while. Probably because of personal was... problems. This day in <laughs> Christery, I don't understand. <laughs> wait, wait. In 2010, Chris uploads two short videos admitting responsibility for the trademark claims by Coke and Fox on the CWC PDF. What the frick? 
Did you know that the <laughs> official Sonichu medallions are made of clay? They Chris that Chris really, really cannot dance? <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're no! We're oh, not reading no! that! We're not reading ah! that! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What the frick? <laughs> what the frick? Oh, what no. the frick? Oh, no! 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 <laughs> oh. Chris oh. Chan said the actual N-word at least twice. Chris Chan's sense of humor is so <laughs> random, XD, XD. Oh. What the frick? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Is this person okay? No. How are they not dead? What is... Is that trading cards for Chris Chan? <laughs> Chris Chan trading card game. Move oh over. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Move over, Pokemon oh. TCG. Major articles, Sonichu, Love <laughs> Quest, <laughs> Autism. <laughs> Timeline. <laughs> Truth and honesty. <laughs> Chris, on himself, I am sometimes <laughs> retarded. And then I'm possibly retarded, and then, and then I'm then... retarded. <laughs> 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 That's like Simon saying. What did he say exactly? I don't remember. I have autism. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. We need to tell this. So Simon, we were like roasting Simon, and he was trying to roast us back, and he's like, yeah, well, I have <laughs> autism. Like, My mom said that autism was a superpower. <laughs> I was diagnosed with cool kid syndrome. <laughs> if I had now a nickel I for every time I wasn't cool, I would have no nickels. <laughs> I would be in debt. Anyway, back on Chris Chan here for a minute. Um, That's cool. Autism That's cured? Question mark. Autism isn't a disease, so it can't, can't necessarily cure be cured. It. Autism has no cure. <laughs> That Chris is the oh my God. best picture ever. And Dalton when he hits Chris's 23. Chris's symptoms. Many trolls dispute the exact diagnosis of Chris's mental condition on the basis that his observed behavior is inconsistent with that of other autistics. Is that <laughs> actually just call? said autistics. Who are undeniably autistic, but nowhere near as effed up as Chris has turned out to be. <laughs> and in general, these forums do not consider Chris to be an example of what most autistics are like. Quite often, artistics are indeed able to oh oh you moved it are able yeah, to learn social skills to some small degree in the context of intellectual learning. Some can even come off as being completely neurotypical because they have come to realize that when they behave quote unquote normal behavior has a yeah we're what? we're skipping That's, this okay. this is boring just go to his like timeline go to his actual life I oh am, yeah yeah timeline we're, is we're a great we're pausing one. the game real quick so I can like look at this Virginia is for virgins what. <laughs> This, this article is filled with truth and honesty and also facts and logic. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Free night. Holy frick balls. Just Google summary. Google summary of Chris Chan. Dude, it's going to be so long. We have time. This we have okay. ten minutes. No, he's really not. It literally just takes me to the timeline. It's like... Okay. <laughs> Rated M Christine, for... Christopher Christian Christine, <laughs> and changed thrice. It also known as Chris Chan is a 37-year-old autistic, mentally stuck in man-child, lesbian, trans woman, former virgin with rage, and creator of the infamous <laughs> Sonichu. That's it. That's what? the description. That's this the is, best introduction of anyone ever. In, in 2007, he became internet famous when he caught the attention of 4chan and. Encyclopedia Dramatica. Oh my god, this man. I Initial feel so fascination bad for him. was spurred on by his signature homemade Sonic 2 medallion, his childlike artwork featuring his unoriginal Sonic recolor, and his history of loitering in public places while literally holding up a sign asking women to talk to him. <laughs> his reaction to the ensuing mockery led to a spiral of ever greater scrutiny of his life, revealing more disturbing facts about him. What does this link go to? Chris and. Oh, oh my god. My is this his god. opinion on all this? We're not reading that. <sighs> I, I honestly do. Really <laughs> <laughs> Chris is a timid, autistic, 37-year-old, self-identified trans woman with delusional tendencies who has been allowed by his parents, <laughs> Barbara Chandler and the deceased Bob Chandler, to eternally live like a child, amassing toys and video games into a single room in his parents' house. Even into his 30s, he is so comfortable in his protected existence that he refuses to conform to the norms of society, even as the need for independence becomes dire as his mother's health fails. This is the most passively-aggressively worded wiki ever, and I love it. Well, I mean, 
Conforming to the norms Wait, of society can sometimes be a bad thing, but here, dear lord, this man that. needs it. Chris is completely obsessed with his character Sonichu in the associated comic, to the point where he has handcrafted several medallions in Sonichu's shape. Between February of 2004 and March of 2010, Chris was rarely seen or photographed without <laughs> one of these totems, even wearing them in his driving <laughs> license photo and to his college graduation. Oh, no. This man graduated college <laughs> at the same time. How did he graduate college? At the so same well. time, he is absolutely convinced that everyone wants to learn all about Sonichu, and that um, the only reason Nintendo, Sega, and Sony haven't approached him about making Sonichu games is that they're either trying to be tough negotiators, or that his chances are being ruined by trolls working in the company. <laughs> <laughs> the medallion returned in September of 2010. For a while, Chris had been upkeeping an eBay shop where he would make and sell these medallions, including Sonichu, Rose Chu, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. Hold uh, on. Yes, Blake. Google. Google if we can buy one. We are not buying one of these. <laughs> Sonichu medallions. I will smash this with a hammer if you buy it. Shopping is the first link. You literally can on eBay for oh my 20 gosh. bucks. Black Sonic, get... Black, Black <laughs> Chu. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a real thing. Also, the Sonic, of course, the Sonic people actually addressed this. And can I get you up? Can I hold on? Go up. Can I get you that so we can put it on this couch? You really, you really can't. No. Oh, also, uh. this this is probably much later in the reading. Let me. I'm gonna close wait, wait. my laptop and. Oh, hold on. His adult life has been largely defined by his goals of developing his webcomic Sonichu into a hit media franchise. His love quest to obtain a quote unquote boyfriend free 18 year old caring, smoke-free, non-alcoholic white girl to make into a sweetheart from the ground up. And beginning from 2011, his gender identity as a tomboy and later a lesbian trans woman. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Chan. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wow. So, this man makes me, like, alright, so I, I usually don't <laughs> like... <laughs> oh stuff. my gosh! <laughs> oh my god. What a stud. Like, oh my god, this man needs mental help. Like, you immediately. Think? I don't think that'll work. I was gonna say... Aliases. He, Chris Chan is the type of guy to make therapists go to therapy. Chris, Christian Weston Chandler has a wide array of names he has given himself. He was born Christopher Weston Chandler, but changed to Christian at the behest of the mall conductor bear. What? In either case, he answers to Chris and Chris Chan... Unusually, Chris would often refer to himself by his fuel name, or if he's feeling especially formal, Christopher Christian Weston Chandler. He is unusually proud of his initials CWC, and often incorporates them to creation and various puns on the word quick. Um, right. Shortly after declaring himself a transgender lesbian, Chris started introducing himself as Christine. Um, Christine Weston Chandler. Um, All right, we're going gonna... to... Here, here, what? wait a minute. Chrissy. We're going to scroll down to this. Occasionally, Chris would use the names of his characters to refer to himself. Most notably, his evi evil twin, which is just his name backwards that I'm not going to try to pronounce. And, of course, Sonichu. In his comics, Chris has the ability to transform into an electric hedgehog Pokemon named Chris Chan Sonichu. As oh Chris grew God. even more unhinged in 2017 and fell under the oh. Idea Guy's sway... In 2018, he would conflate himself either f even further with his fantastic inventions. I regret that we're doing this other, at this moment, because this is supposed to be a cool moment in the game, and we're talking about this mentally it's Milo. deranged He's, man. He looks mentally that ill. That guy doesn't have any, any, or any whites in his eyes. Oh, okay, and look, it's... Hot girl alert! It's Nessa. I love her. Anyway. Anyway. Other modern names for himself include CPU, my favorite Scarlet, guy. and Night Star, respectively his self-inserts for Hyperdimension Neptunia and My Little Pony. In context, when he wants to be grandiose, he might append his fictional alter egos to his name, much as he would list his former names in the past. So... Oh, no. I love that guy. He's cool. Oh, no. So... Also, apparently, uh... <laughs> oh, no. Also, apparently, Raihan... Raihan has... <laughs> CWC with Bible. Okay. No, I'm looking up the Leviticus. The Chris destroys his vibrator. No, nope, we're sword. done. <laughs> we are done here. <laughs> also, also, real quick before this video ends, Raihan is extra cool because his Rotom is a shiny one. Well, guys, that's all the time. Oh, we I have. do want to bring up two things with CWC okay. here. So, um, first of all, um, two notable things that happened to him is one time he trashed his entire room because someone uh, catfished him and pretended to be a girl and got him to send him their his original Sonichu medallion. 
and Whoa. they smashed it with a hammer and burned it on camera, and he literally just wrecked his entire room. Tard rage. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, he would give out increasing amounts of information to spark what he referred to as an information overload. <laughs> so he would literally tell people about his legal cases, all of his mental conditions... This sounds like Simon, but without his parents. No, this makes Simon seem like a motivational speaker. Like, <laughs> it does. Like, Simon is like I the most normal I get that we give him a hard time being. sometimes, but I mean, compared to this guy, he's a saint. Yeah. No, not I even wanna, a I want to talk to Chris Chan face to face. You really don't. I, I want to I just listen to his knowledge for hours. But it, it's hilarious how much information that people have kept up. Like, there's still like an ongoing weekly uh, documentary about him. It's It's ridiculous. Anyway, thanks for watching. That was a heck of an episode. One of our best ones ever. See you guys. I want next to time. not be alive anymore.